This information is brought to you by Charles Sturt University. Hi, welcome to a little short video on um, how to understand what the idea of flux is. So this is based on um, tutorial 9, question 6. So flux is the idea of how much a vector field flows through a certain area. Um, now when you're trying to flow through a certain area, so I've got a picture of a, a rectangle in 3D space here, so I'm trying to work out how much a vector field will, will flow through there. We need to have a sense of the orientation of the surface. Um, if you change the orientation, you just get a, a minus sign. So you want to know which is the, the right direction through, so to speak. So in this case, I've got a, um, something sitting in the ZY plane, and I've got the normal pointing in the positive X direction. So I've got some different ones, so let's uh, consider um, each in turn. Let's have a think about it. So my first vector field is I've got um, vectors which um, the magnitude is Z and the direction is I. So I is just pretty much pointing in the positive X direction. Um, so um, if you just pick a point, um, you know, here, you've just got a, a few vectors around the place. You be careful while I draw this program. Is the magnitude Z. So on the... Um, in this particular case, all everything on the surface here is going to be in the z, um, it is going to be increasing z value, so on the bottom z equals zero. Other than that, you're still going to start getting arrows in the positive x direction. Um, for high values, you're going to get bigger z values. So these are the different um, directions of the, or the, the vectors sitting inside my little surface. So you can see on the surface here, the vectors at the force is this vector field actually pushing along the surface, so pushing the same direction as our normal. So it's going to push it through. So they're actually going to be net flow. So you can think of it as if you want to think of them as being um, you know, this water flowing through through three D space. You can see the actual is actually flowing through this plane in the right direction. So the flux for this example. would be positive. So it's flowing in the right direction. So for the next one, um, we got the minus zi, so similar sort of components, but of course also uh, um, something in the um, k direction. Now in this case, although it looks more complicated at first glance, you can see everywhere in our single um, plane here corresponds to x equals 0. And so this particular term here is just equal to 0 everywhere on our surface. So what we're really looking for is just minus zi. And so at any point it's going to go pointing the opposite direction, so to speak, with changing magnitude. So you can see that the flow of this new vector field, at least on the surface itself, is going into the page or the normals coming out of the page, they're opposite directions. So the net flow and the orientation of the surface is opposite. So we'll say therefore it has negative flux. So flowing in the opposite direction. Maybe not wrong there's the wrong word, but just opposite direction essentially. So just try one example. So um, commonly we want to think of it as being, you know, something, a vector of three variables, and a common scenario is to have um, x in the x direction, um, y in the um, j direction, or and z in the k direction, which is essentially just a, a vector, so it's pointing to um, a, a, po um, a sort of various point. <coughs> So, and that's what the idea of um, what we call a vector R. So, if you pick any um, point here, for example, then the corresponding vector is going to be the vector from the origin to this one. So, it's going to point that direction. Whereas, if you get one a bit further over here, it's going to be that vector. So, this vector I've just drawn is the one that you'd fit by um, drawing it from the origin up to that point. So you're picking some random points, so 
and you're drawing what the vector and you, and for everything I'm drawing at least on the surface at least all the ones I'm drawing are actually running along the surface not um, not pointing not coming out of it not going into it just running straight along the surface so although this is though the vector field sort of moving around the surface it's flowing along it not through it so since there's no flow through this particular square square well I've got here the flux generator would be zero so that's the idea of flux so flux is the idea of how much a vector field flows through a particular region and if it's in the same direction as the normal positive if it flows in the opposite direction of the normal negative if it just flows al along it rather than through a zero flux you can get other you can get other cases where the there's flowing both directions, so both in and out, and they can cancel each other out to give you zero. Um, that again is possible. So there's no net flux in that sense. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to use um, integration to summing up the flux over the whole region, whether they be nice simple squares or whether they be more complicated surfaces, um, to try to work some of these things out. But that gives you an idea, a bit more uh, perhaps visually, of what flux is on about, how that helps.